So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet the Celtic weave stitch. It is a two row repeated pattern and you get these gorgeous sort of cables that weave under each other. It really is uh, a good stitch. Um, I would say definitely not a beginner stitch. You will need to know how to do trebles in UK terminology and f working in the front and back post. I do have videos on those which I will link in the description for you. So if you're not too sure what to do there, you might want to go and have a look at those videos first. So let's have a look at the tutorial. So for this tutorial I'm using a Starcraft Aran. I think the colourway here is lavender if you're interested in those things. Um, I'm going to be using a 5mm crochet hook. You can use any yarn with the corresponding hook size that it suggests on the label. And I have a pair of scissors to cut off my ends. So to start off with I'm going to make a slip knot. You can do this in whichever way you prefer. And we need to make a foundation chain in a multiple of four. So I'm going to do a sample chain of 20, but you can do as many chains as you would like for as wide as you'd like your piece to be, as long as it's in the multiple of four. So yarn over and pull back through your slip knot, and that gives you chain one, two, three, four. So pause the video now whilst you make your foundation chain. So I have my foundation chain of 20 and now we're going to start row 1 and row 1 starts by making a treble, that's UK terminology, uh, that would be a double crochet in US, in the third chain from the hook. So we don't count the one on the hook, so 1, 2, 3 and we go in there with the treble so we yarn over, insert into the chain, yarn over, pull back through, you have three loops on your hook yarn over, pull back through two loops, yarn over, pull back through the last two loops and there you have your first treble. I'm going to make a treble in the next stitch, so yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull back through, three loops on your hook, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. And we're going to make trebles in each of the chains all the way back down the row. So pause the video now whilst you complete your chains and I will see you in a moment. So just coming up to my last treble of the row. And there we have row one complete. So for row two, we're going to chain two and turn our work. The chain two does not count as a stitch throughout the whole piece. Therefore, the first stitch will always go in the first gap. And in there, we're going to do a treble. So we're going to yarn over and insert, yarn over, pull through, three loops on your hook, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. So we've got our starting chains, which we're not counting, and we have a treble. We're then going to skip two stitches and we're going to work a front post double treble around the next stitch. So these are the posts here, so these are the tops of the stitches and these uprights are the posts. So we're skipping the first two and we're going to work around the third one. So yarn over, yarn over, that would give us our double treble and we go into the gap just before the post come behind the post and back out the other side. We yarn over, we pull the yarn back behind that post and back out. You should have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We're going to do exactly the same thing in or around the next post. So yarn over, yarn over. Go in just before the post, bring your hook round the back of the post and back out the front. Yarn over and pull the yarn back behind that post to bring your hook out. You have four loops on your hook, yarn over through two, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. So these uh, stitches here are sort of going off to the side and that's exactly what we want so don't stress. 
So we're now going to go back to the two skipped stitches and we're going to be working around these two posts and we're going to start with the first one and we're doing exactly the same stitch so a front post double treble so yarn over, yarn over just before the post and then come out and just after the post yarn over and pull the yarn behind the post you might need to pull the yarn up a little bit longer so it's all in line yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now we're going to go into the second one and it's a little bit trickier to see this one so if you need to pull your stitches apart that's fine. And we're going through there with a front post double treble. So yarn over, yarn over, go in just before the post, come out just after, yarn over and pull the yarn back behind the post pull it up a bit if you need to, you should have four loops on your hook yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two and we now should have a sort of crisscross so we've got the first two we made at the back and we've got the second two crossing over on the front and we're just going to repeat this all the way down the row. So we've worked these two posts so we don't count those. We skip the next two posts and we're going to work behind these two next. So yarn over, yarn over, insert just before the post, come out behind, yarn over and pull the yarn behind the post. You should have four loops on your hook, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two. Then we're going around the second one, so yarn over, yarn over, go behind the post, yarn over and pull the yarn back behind the post, pull it up so it's all level, four loops on your hook, yarn over through two, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. Now we go back to the two posts that we skipped, working around the first skipped post, yarn over, yarn over, go in behind the post, yarn over, pull it back through, yarn over through two, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. Pull your stitches apart to try and find that second skipped one, yarn over, yarn over, insert and go behind the post and come out the front, yarn over and pull the yarn behind the post, Pull the yarn up so it's nice and level, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops and there we have the second crossover. So we're going to do that all the way down our row, so find the next unworked post, skip, skip and then do your first front post double trebles behind these two then come back and work behind these two. Work till you get to the end and you should have one treble and your turning chains and stop when you get there and I will show you what you need to do next. So pause the video now whilst you work the rest of the row. So I'm just coming up to the end of my row here. So I've got my four repeated patterns there. So these two stitches cross over those two stitches and I am now left with my treble and my turning chains. And we're going to finish the row off by working into the top of the treble. So if you turn your work slightly you'll be able to see the top of the treble and we're working in there with a treble. So yarn over, insert into the top of the treble, yarn over, pull back through, three loops on your hook, yarn over through two, yarn over through two and that is the end of the second row. Now the second row is the right side of your work so I'm just going to pop a little stitch marker in here just to remind me. Now it should be obvious that this is the, the right side and this is the wrong side because you will find that your stitches are pushed forward on the right side and they're pushed back on the wrong side but just in case, you know, sometimes the doorbell goes, the phone rings, you get distracted, 
and you think, oh, which one am I working on? If you've got your right side marked, then that's really useful. So let's start uh, row three. So we're going to chain two and we're going to turn our work. That chain, as always, does not count. So we're going to work into that very first stitch there. So for row four then, we're going to chain two, turn our work, Remember that chain two does not count as a stitch, so we're going to work into that very first space, into that first stitch with a treble. And then we're going to work through the first two hidden stitches, so these are these two on the back here. And we're going to do a back post treble. So yarn over, come through the back rather than the front, over the top, yarn over and pull through. Then complete our treble stitch. Then we're going to do the next stitch and it's hidden behind these two ones that are pushed forward. So if you turn to the back, we've just worked this one, we're going to work around that post. So yarn over, we're going to do a back post treble, go behind the post, pull up a loop, and then complete your treble. So that's just at the start of row four. Then we're going to skip, so this is very similar to row three, we're going to skip these two and we're going to work around the next two, the next two hidden ones. And we're going back to double trebles now, but they're going to be back post double trebles. So yarn over, yarn over, come up through the back, over the top of the post and out the back again. Four loops on your hook, yarn over through two, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. Yarn over, yarn over, going through the second one that's hidden at the back. Four loops, yarn over through two, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. Then we're going to come back to these two that we have skipped. So with these two stitches prominent, you might need to pull these apart a little bit to find the gap. So yarn over, yarn over, coming through the back of the work, over the top of the stitch and out the back again. Yarn over, pull up a loop. You should have four loops on your hook. Yarn over through two, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. Then we're going to go through the next hidden loop, which is this one here. Sorry, it was not hidden. That confused myself then. Yarn over, yarn over, come through the back, over the top and out. Yarn over and pull through. You should have four loops on your hook. Yarn over through two, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. So from this side, it doesn't look hugely different but you can see the difference on the other side and you can see it starting to cross over. So we're going to start the pattern again. Now we are going to skip the next two stitches. Now remember we have worked these two at the back already. So we're going to skip these two stitches that are prominent at the front and we're going to work around these two stitches that are at the back. So we're going to go around there with back post double trebles. So yarn over, yarn over, come in through the back, over the post, out the back again, yarn over, pull through, yarn over through two, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. Then we're going to do the second missed one at the back. So yarn over, yarn over, go behind that post, yarn over, pull up a loop, four loops on your hook, yarn over through two, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. Then we go back to these ones here. So yarn over, yarn over, come behind your work, out through the front and pull the loop round. Four loops on your hook, yarn over through two, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. And then pulling around the last one here, yarn over, yarn over, oops, yarn over, yarn over, through the back, 
pull your loop up and then complete the double treble. You skip the next two and we work exactly the same two back post double trebles here and then come back to here. So you work those stitches now and I will see you in a moment. So I'm coming up to the end of my row. I have worked these two stitches here and you should be left with the two stitches that are sort of prominent that have been pushed forward and your treble here. And remember we don't count those turning chains. So we're going to work around these two posts that have been pushed forward and we're going to go around those with back post trebles. So we only yarn over once, come through the back, out through the, the back again you should have three loops on your hook and then you complete your treble. We do that again with the next post, so yarn over, in through the back, over the top, yarn over and pull through and then complete your treble. And then in the top of the final treble we're going to do oops, a treble. And that is row three complete. So you can start seeing your pattern emerge. You can see how you're sort of getting this crisscross effect because you're hiding. Now the reason we're getting that is because we started with these back post trebles at the beginning and at the end of the rows. Otherwise you'd just end up with a wave if you didn't do that, if you just went into this, the crisscross from the start, if that makes sense. So then for row four, we're basically repeating row two. So rows two and three are the repeated pattern. So chain two and turn. Remember the chain two does not count. So we're going to do a treble in that very first stitch. We're going to skip these two posts here and we're going to work around these two here and then we'll come back to those two. So we yarn over, yarn over, we're doing front post double trebles around the post there. So that's one and two. Then we come back to work around these two posts. So double trebles, front post around that one there. Whoops and the second missed one. And we carry that way, on that way, all the way down the row. You can really see the crisscross is starting there. So I'm going to work up a few more rows and I shall show you what it looks like when you have a little bit more to look at. So I've just worked up a few more rows for you to see how it looks and it is an absolutely gorgeous pattern. You've sort of got these cables that sort of run underneath each other and sort of weave up. Really lovely. Obviously the back is different to the front because it is a two row repeater pattern. Um, I do find that the front post row is quicker to work up than the back post row. I don't know if that's just me and trying to get my head around it. But I think once you get the hang of the pattern and you, you know exactly what to do in each row, it should be fairly quick to work up. So that's how to do the Celtic weave stitch. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help us to get seen by the algorithm and for other crochets to find us. Uh, I'll pop two more videos on the side of the screen to help you on your crochet journey and I will see you over there. Thank you so much for uh, joining me on this one and happy hooking!